It's an evenly poised... Uh, no, no, actually, no, it's not. Liverpool have an almost unassailable three-goal advantage heading into their Champions League second-leg clash at the Etihad against the Manchester City side who blew their only chance, probably for the next 50 years, of winning the title against their bitter rivals Manchester United on Sunday by letting a two-goal lead slip to lose 2-3. Can Pep rally his troops and salvage anything from this tie? It was all going oh so well six weeks ago for Manchester City. They were about to play an easy FA Cup game against Wigan. They had a League Cup final to enjoy. They were running away with the league and they were one of the bookies' favourites to lift the European Cup. Okay, so they're still running away with the Premier League and they've already lifted the League Cup after beating Arsenal 3-0. But they were humiliated by Wigan and dumped out of the FA Cup. They failed to win the title against their fierce Manchester rivals and they're on the verge of being knocked out of the Champions League by Liverpool side who seem to simply love European competition. City need to draw inspiration from what Barcelona achieved a year ago against PSG. But only one side has ever come back from losing the first leg of a quarter-final 3-0 to reach the semi-finals of this competition. Who was it? It was Barcelona in 1986 against Gothenburg. Hardly comparable. They did manage to beat Liverpool 5-0 domestically early in the season, but Mane saw red early on. And they'll arguably need something similar to happen on Tuesday night to have any chance of qualifying as Liverpool can score against anybody. If they do manage to pull off a miracle, Danilo, Kevin De Bruyne, Fernandino, Gabriel Jesus, Iktar Gundogan and Nicolas Otamendi all need to be careful as they're just one booking away from suspension. Liverpool managed to secure a draw against Merseyside rivals Everton in the Premier League at the weekend with a weakened side, but it remains to be seen if Mo Salah will be fit enough to return on Tuesday night. Klopp's side have scored 18 goals in their five Champions League away games this season, so you feel Manchester City will need to score at least five to have any chance of progressing, something that very few believe will happen. The last time Liverpool conceded four goals away from home in the Champions League was way back in 2002 in a 4-2 defeat at Bayer Leverkusen. So, although the job is not yet done, their fans are confident of their side booking a semi-final place. Jordan Henderson will be a big loss in the middle of the park for the Reds due to suspension, but with City needing to attack as much as possible, it should give the likes of Mane and Firmino plenty of opportunities, so Wijnaldum will slot in for Henderson to provide cover in front of the back line, as well as having the ability to pick a defence-splitting pass. Even after the United loss on Sunday, City are short-priced favourites to win here at 1.45. Liverpool have been priced up by the bookies at 5.93, while the draw is available at 4.91. The Asian handicap line is currently set at 1.25 so the bookies feel the home side could win by a couple of goals as we all know that wouldn't be enough to qualify and that's been reflected in the 5.05 on offer for the citizens to progress if you think City could keep Liverpool at bay especially if they're missing Salah and match the first leg result then it's worth considering the generous 8.45 on offer for the match to go through extra time over 3.5 goals is odds on so bookies are predicting that there will be plenty of goals at the Etihad but for who? Editor's pick then. Team news is crucial here and if Mo Salah does miss out, it could give City the psychological edge and make Liverpool revert to a more defensive approach. City may well win the match, but Liverpool have the ability to score against anyone, regardless of whether their Egyptian king is fit or not. With that in mind, the away side on the Asian handicap looks appealing, so the pick here is Liverpool plus one and a half goals on the Asian handicap at 1.73. For more great tips and predictions, head over to protipster.com. 